love how much this look contrasts to my last one. Visuality of man. <laughs> Welcome back guys! Lockdown is boring and I decided that I wanted to make a video today um, to fill this endless void of nothingness so <laughs> today I wanted to show you my CD collection It's not much but I love everything that I've ever bought and it's really the only thing I have that I can call a collection This is literally just an excuse to talk about bands I like um, <laughs> it's gonna be very boring and self-indulgent, just like all my videos, lol. Um, if anything, it'll be nice to have as a kind of uh, documentation of what I had at this time, and when I have more stuff, I can look back and compare it to this. <laughs> I forgot to put my light ring on. <laughs> okay, that's better. I started buying CDs probably when I was like 14. As of now, mostly I get them from either CD Japan, uh, Amazon.jp, from like cons like Hyper and MCM, and as gifts from friends. I've noticed that I'm buying a lot less CDs now because I graduated to a streaming service uh, two years ago. Buying copious amounts of CDs isn't possible for me anymore, so it's just something I do occasionally when there's something that I really want. Since Buck took on my homemade band, I'll keep buying their physicals and any other of my like current favourites. I'll try and buy their music as much as I can. There are so many physicals that I still want and I just really love having the feeling of a CD to play. Also, Dog's new album arrived this week. I say it's new but it's actually from last year already but I wasn't able to buy it until now <laughs> oh my God. So I thought we could open it together and add it to the shelf Yay! Minabo in CD Japan used to give you like free magazines and stuff like little ones and like flyers not even like as like you know as part of the deal they just give you them as freebies like they're so cool Miss that. <laughs> Classic green paper. <laughs> yeah, so good. <laughs> I love hot dogs. Oh, but such a good single. Oh my god. I only got the uh, regular edition because I am cheap, but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 hot dog, baby. This uh, hot dog looks so nice. Like, I was just thinking, like, that it looks so good. We've got Jim Jam here as well as a OBI strip. Got him. Oh my god, this is so cute. Wow. Love that. <laughs> it's like Coca Cola inside. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Damn, got it is. I love this aesthetic. Dino aesthetic. Do you have pictures in here? Yeah! Love song? <laughs> question mark, question mark. Gonna listen to that later, yeah! Only about six months late, but... <laughs> Came out in October, I think. So anyway, um, it's just a small set of CDs that I'm gonna talk about and recommend like to you. I've already shown me unboxing some of these CDs in some of my older videos, so I won't talk about those ones. I'll just link them, like, here, <laughs> in the corner or something. A lot of them have also, like, been in my con vlogs when I do, like, a con haul or whatever. Uh, but they're mentioned, like, super briefly, so I might as well show those as well. <laughs> Let's have a little nostalgia trip and uh, look at some uh, CDs. <laughs> wow, what kind of video idea is this? This is going to be so boring. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yay! Let's, let's go. <laughs> Talking about my first CD is a bit difficult because <laughs> technically my first CDs were these two. <laughs> I can't remember when I got these. I must have been, um, I must have been so young, like 13 maybe. They were like the very first things that I asked for. Um, obviously you can see this is the Pandora Hearts soundtrack from the anime Pandora Hearts. It's uh, part one. I did intend to get part two but that never happened, obviously. Still makes me like really emotional to listen to it again because Pandora Hearts is one of my very first anime and I got so attached to it and this soundtrack is just stunning. Yuki Kajiura was like 
I named her my favourite artist back then because she really was, like she's so cool and she writes for the band Kalafina who I listened to a bit as well back then. So yeah, that was my first ever like CD I suppose and I always thought this like inner cover was very pretty as well, like this like, you know. This band called Indica, they're a Finnish girl rock band and I actually found them through Pandora Hearts because someone made an AMV with their song Children of Frost which is actually on this CD and I just really wanted to do this CD because I really liked uh, the lead vocal's like voice, she's really talented, she has an amazing voice so I just like completely fell in love with them. So this is my first like rock band CD. So anyway, what I would always say like is my first CD is the Arca's Stay Away single. <laughs> this is my first ever CD that I bought and I bought it at a con and it was from JPU when JPU used to do like five pound mystery box or something like <laughs> they just have like a load of like CDs in a box, random stuff and they were like five pounds each. I, I liked the Arca and that's why Stay Away has a big like part in my history. So that's cool, it's cool, has a cool design I guess, you know, it's kind of cool. I got it at MCM in 2014 I think, yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> the next CD I think I can remember getting is Seiko Omori's Se no, which I love so much still and um, over the years like Seiko Omori has become like one of the most like iconic idols for me. She's so cool and I really like admire her as a idol. I view her as like a like a mother to other idols that are like her. So kind of like anti-idols that don't necessarily fit in and conform to the normal standard of like idol culture in Japan. This CD is very cute because it has like this sick brain design. It's really cool. I love that. The inner sleeve has lots of her like drawings in it. They're extremely beautiful and delicate drawings. This, my god, I just bent it on camera. <laughs> this is Glay's Pure Soul album. It's really funny because I don't actually like. I didn't listen to Glay much until I bought like their physicals. The first one I bought was at MCM ages ago, but then found this and it's kind of weird because it's very like, nothing's happening here, it's just white. <laughs> but then the inner sleeve uh, is like this pretty green grass thing. Luckily it shows you the whole picture there. <laughs> it's Glay sitting on the grass with some like uh, stuffed animals around it. I found this at like a karaoke bar in uh, Central. It's like now it's a noodle place I think or like a ramen shop and upstairs is karaoke but a few years ago, I don't know whenever this was, like 2015-2016 maybe, it was like a bookshop like it was kind of downstairs was like uh, full of books like Japanese books Japanese CDs and things like that but yeah I just I just looked at the CDs and I saw this and I was like oh it's it's uh, it's Glay so I decided to buy it I saw a couple of other albums there like by people that I recognized but Glay were the ones that I knew the most so I bought it and it says a uh, 980 on the on the sticker but it was way cheaper than that it was like five pounds or something and it's a full album so it's, it's really cool uh so that's nice it's just like finding little things like that just make me like so happy like oh my gosh it's so fun when you find like very mysterious items and that's what i love so much about like mcm is that some people used to just have like boxes of cds and like i found so much like cool stuff there and like i really miss that, like I miss like just digging through boxes of CDs. That's probably one of the first things that I would do when I go to Japan, just like go to like book off or like a secondhand bookshop and see if they have like secondhand CDs and just like dig through all of them to find like little treasures. It would be so cool and there's like, I'd listen to anything, you know, like <laughs> if it's cheap, you know, I'll just, I'll just be like, yes, give me it. 
no Oshare fans CD collection is complete without some Ankafe. So <laughs> I have these two. This one is one of those ones that I found like in a box at MCM. <laughs> uh, the CD cover was like super damaged, it was like cracked. But I put it in a new case and now it's a lot nicer. It's an absolute classic. <laughs> and Sama Dive is from my friend who went to Japan and picked it up for me. She got me a few CDs and that was really cool, it was so nice. Another classic, it's Kaya's Glitter. Um, I think I did show this in a vlog as well, maybe I'll try and find it, but I've had this for a long time and it's very cool. Kaya is very cool, very beautiful person and I think this album still slaps in 2021. <laughs> it really do be slapping though, it's so good. Then I have all of my signed CDs. I have four of these and they've all been in vlogs, so it really isn't that interesting to show them now, but here I go. Vanilu! The awkwardest meet and greet I have ever done! But yes, very cute, Leonil, Yuta. I miss them, but what can you do? This album slaps. It slaps so much, it's so good. It's so good, it's amazing. I, I love it so much. Broken Doll! Very fun meet and greet, they're always at Hyper, so yeah. I feel like everyone in the UK has seen Broken Doll live. <laughs> they come here like, they used to come here quite often. Rosario, obviously, by Hizaki. So I have his both start. <laughs> Probably from my first meet and greet ever? No, was it? My only Utaite CD that I have by Amatsuki is Hello World and it has his signature there and he has the Oh, it can't be my first because it has his it has the date on it. He put the date on. Um, 2016. My second meeting great? I don't know. He do be signing it though. And that was very cute. I wish more Itaita would come here. Like, it feels quite wild, but I'd love to see, like, Mafu Mafu or something, like, perform here. Or Amatsuki again, you know? Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Even though Aruiwa Anaki came out when I was already a fan of BT, I didn't actually buy it. Uh, instead, I bought two other albums <laughs> that I decided I liked. Instead, I bought these two. I'd already known BT for at least like two years before then. Um, and I wanted to get these two to like uh, further my knowledge of their music. <laughs> discography. I got Memento Mori because it's like one of my favourite albums at, at the time and I think it's very cool and it has a lot of my favourite songs on it. This is their like compilation album from 2005. Yeah, so it has two CDs and yeah, so it's going all the way back to like the 80s which is very cool. If you want to like listen to all of BT in like one album, it's quite good. I mean obviously it only goes up to like 2005. But, you know, it's good. Uh, also, I recommend Catalogue Ariola if you want to listen to, like, block of stuff. Obviously, I can't recommend BT enough because they are just, like, absolute favourites of mine and they've been for a long time, so I'm wearing their merch right now. <laughs> You're right, remember, um, in 2015, there was a little thing called Japan Night uh, that Hyper Japan like had on like two nights in a row during their con. Uh, Alexandros performed there, uh, including Vamps, but really I was there for Alexandros. Uh, they were amazing, loved them, kings. And I bought this album at the live for 10 quid. Pretty good, um, <laughs> very cool, very precious to me because I bought it at the live itself. But um, the sad story is, uh, <laughs> I went on a family holiday with my mum and dad uh, literally like the day after Hyper Japan ended, like on the Sunday. I literally went away and, you know, we stayed in this lovely little gatehouse and it was very cute and they had a CD player so I bought my CDs and I bought this one because I just bought it. Very cool, jammed a bit. And then <laughs> I come home and it's empty. <laughs> The only thing that could have happened is that I forgot to take it out of the CD player, left it at this gatehouse, um, and that's it. So now these people, whoever like manages that place, 
just have a CD by Alexandros without without a case, you know. <laughs> and I just have this, which I've like. Obviously, I'm not gonna throw it away. Why would I? Like, I have the inner sleeve and everything. So I just have this like empty CD case, <laughs> which is so sad. Ouch. Uh, so yeah, that was just really really sad because when you just buy something and then you lose it the next day, it really does like break your heart, especially if it's something that is this precious. But oh well, at least I have the case. Wow. <laughs> Another precious item to me is this uh, Best Of album from Bisexual. It's very cool. Bisexual are a really cool like punk band. There's two here and they, they have like, what is it, 30? 30, 30 tracks across both of them, which is loads. If you like punk, then yeah. They're not active anymore, but they're very cool and talented. The legacy? 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 The legacy will live on. Forever. A few years ago, I became obsessed with a band called Lepish, which I have known for a very long time because many years ago, Baptic covered one of their songs called Hamerun, and I listened to that cover and I was like, wow, that's very cool. What an amazing song. And I listened to the original and I was like, wow, that's good. Not as good as the cover, but it's pretty good. So <laughs> I just like didn't even think about Lepish for a long time because I was like not that impressed by the original. Because um, <laughs> like BT did such a such an amazing cover of it that I only listened to the cover. However, uh, I think it was I think it was like a, a good few years later that I decided to actually like check them out as their own band. And uh, now we're here. Uh, <laughs> they are now my probably my second favorite band of all time, uh, which is quite funny <laughs> considering that like I found them through a cover that my favorite band did, which is really funny. But anyways, um, obviously like uh, Atsushi and the lead vocal of Lepish called Magumi obviously they're, they're quite close and um, they're from the same label they're both on Victor Entertainment while BT is still active Lepish have ceased activity but uh, I decided that I would try and collect lots of their albums they're either from CD Japan or Amazon JP so yeah they're all like you know in cases apart from these two and I don't have anything else like this like I don't have any other like flat flat things like this. Um, it's very funny. So yeah, I have seven albums in total. <laughs> and I think my favourite out of all these releases is uh, Animal 2, which is a like a like a mini album. And uh, this is like second hand from Amazon JP. And I got it super cheap for like less than a pound, I think. It was like really, really cheap. And then this is like super, <laughs> it's super crinkly. And it's like glued together, like two sides. It's so cool. And my absolute favorite track from this album is Party. It's very good. Uh, so yeah, I recommend them. Oh god, I didn't even mention what genre they are. Um, <laughs> they're like a ska punk band. They kind of changed their genres a little bit. They started off like super like ska influence and Magumi scats a lot and his scats are so good and I think he's really good at scatting and I wish he would do it more because it sounds so cool. And then they kind of went into more of a like, I don't know what to call it, like psychedelic rock I guess. Um, a bit like the Beatles, kind of like Strawberry Fields vibes. Uh, Art of Gradation which is the oldest album that I have. Uh, this has a bit of more of like psychedelic rock vibes but um, yeah, the others are like quite like ska punk I suppose. Very cool, uh, yeah, they're not for everyone but they're really good and I don't listen to many other ska punk bands so they're like super precious to me and yeah I definitely say, I definitely say they're like right there at the top of like bands that I'm like completely head over heels in love with. Obviously I love Dog in the Parallel World Orchestra a lot and a few years ago I, I spent all my money on this <laughs> which is like a special edition of Heart which is a great album and it's really cool because this comes with like this extremely cool booklet and it comes with a DVD and a CD. This is like the CD that has you know all the tracks on it and stuff. 
And then the DVD is Tokyo Doggy's X Men 2016, so it's like a, a live a live DVD. I should have done like an unboxing on this <laughs> with this because it's like so cool. I think I filmed it. I think I filmed myself opening it, but I didn't like um, post it anywhere. But yeah, so yeah. Wow, precious item. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking for a lot. I feel like <laughs> I don't think I've ever talked this much in a YouTube video, but oh well. Obviously, I recommend all these bands 100%. There's a lot of different kinds of bands, like popular rock style and like Visual K, obviously, and like Oshada K, and very cool like idols and heavier rock, and yeah, just lots of different uh, genres. <laughs> I wish my music collection was like just VK so I could like call it something but no it's just just random just random stuff <laughs> anyways that is all from me I hope you enjoyed this little like uh, CD collection highlights I haven't really got anything like rare or exciting but it's like special to me if you want to uh, get into Visual K or like J-Rock or Japanese music or anything I recommend just going on to CD Japan and just seeing like what they have, like what are their like best sellers, you know? Like you don't even have to buy anything, you can just check it out. Also I recommend checking out like the Oricon charts if you just want to see like what kind of bands are popular like right now, who's like in the top 10 in the charts, that's quite cool. And yeah, there's loads of like uh, YouTube channels that kind of round up the latest like visual k mvs of the year and stuff like that so those are always really good to check out if you want to see like who is like currently on the scene and what are like the new pvs uh that just came out and stuff so yeah i'll like link a couple of those down below if you want to check them out thank you for listening to me rambling on and on about bands that i like uh <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Don't know when that will be. It might be a, a long time because life is just so unpredictable now. But let's hope we'll be healthy and happy for the months to come. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.